In this project, uh, which uh, we are looking at pollinators and pollination services at uh, Ebulu Ecosystem, during our field surveys, we identified uh, several types of bees, and among them, there were stingless bees of a specific uh, species, which is uh, Meliponula becari. It's one of honey-making bee among the stingless bees. Domestication of this stingless bee requires this type of hive. As you can see, they are small in size as compared to the African honeybees. So when you identify the nest, which the indigenous community play a very significant role in identif identifying this nest from the world. Iko ina mingi ya kutavuta nyuki, kama hii nyuki ya kawaida, hiyo ni raisi sana. Sabu naonea mbali na hiko kujua miti au naenda kwa mziga. Lakini hii hiko shangamoto ambayo hiko masaa yao kutoka saa kumi ambayo wakati hakuna climate kama hii, kama mawingo kama hii, wakati ya jua kidogo. Hiko jinsi tunafuata. Kwanzea mwesu wa nane, paka mwesu wa tisa, unapata kwa wengi sababu ya natoka kukunya maua, Sasa hawisi katika unaona kama usi. Lakini wakati hii kutoka mwisi hii mbaka saba, hiko shangamoto sana. Sababu utafuata na kitu mbili tu, utafuata na hiyo dudu. Hiyo dudu ni kitu ya muhimu kwa sisi, sababu ni kama na kuelesa mahali hiko. Ukiangalia hiyo dudu mahali ya na makalia, juu ya, miti, ya, ya nyasi kama hiyo, juu ya hiyo dudu hiko hapa. Unakuwa na sobiri kabisa hapo, kukimia, na kuangalia hawa mahali yanaenda jinsi ingine ya kuona iko buibui wili anafunga naanza funga kama kama hii barabara na ukienda kukuta hiyo mahali huko kwa ndani unasimama na angalia nikipata buibui imeshika njore hapo sasa najua njore iko hapo sasa hiyo njore nitapata wapi ikiwa kwa hiyo shimo sasa hivi ndio sasa kutoa asali hapo na tatawa makanda ya mke yao na na simpa na panga hivi sana toa nyumba yao sana sasa kuweka kwa chupa sana naanza kukunywa stingless bees are faced by several challenges while in their wild nest and some of these challenges is uh, man is one of the major threat to the existence of stingless bees how man is a threat one uh, traditional way of harvesting these nesting the ground nesting bees uh, it's uh, very traditional in such a way that uh, when the, these community people come to harvest the honey from the stingless bee, they excavate the entire colony and once they have taken the honey, they throw away the entire colony. So subjecting these bees to other threats such as the honey badgers. Apart from man, we also have the wild animals in the forest where these nests are found. So you find most of these nests are stepped on by the wild animals. And by so doing, you find these colonies are being destroyed and even these bees are just declining in the ecosystem. Tukipata, ndiyo tunaipata lakini tunaitoa. Tunachimba mbali kidogo, unachimba chini. Izi hao ziwe juu, hii nyumba hao iwe juu. Na juu ninye pesi ni lasima imwakike. Unatafuta, unamiti tunatoa kama saani. Unaiweke hapo hivyo. Unaishi. Shika safari moja, kitambo ushike, ime mwagika. As a result of all these challenges that stingless bees are facing in their wild ecosystem, there is need to domesticate them. And what is the advantages of these stingless bees as compared to other bees that are uh, community are so fast and about, especially the common honey bees, that they are so used, they know how to harvest the honey. The advantage of the stingless bee, one, they don't sting. Second, they produce very medicinal high quality honey. And apart from even honey, you can also harvest other high products such as propolis, which is also highly medicinal. Kitu si tungependelea kama jamii ya Ogiek tupate mafunzo zaidi ya kuhifadhi kitu ili tusiwe tena tukitafuta kwa muda ama ku, kwa kwa kwa, kwa sababu kitu kuipata ni ngumu ili tuweze kuipata kwa karibu. The project uh, is looking forward to, do, to train the community on how to domesticate uh, the stingless bees in a sustainable manner 
whereby they will be able to harvest the honey as well as other hive products. Remember these stingless bees, they are ground dwellers. So you are not supposed to just place your nest in contact with your hive. So you're supposed to provide a natural-like environment for them. How do you go about this? You just look for dried sticks and lay them on the, ground, on the basement of your nest. That's where you put your, you, you put your nest. And then after that, you, you support the nest uh, from the corners of your nest, uh, on your, of your hive. So that when you are relocating them from the site to where your apiary is, they are not shaken and broken. After you have done that, and remember before you put your nest, you're supposed to smear the entire hive with that uh, invoculum. That is the material that they use to construct their house. It consists of a mixture of wax as well as uh, resin. It has a special uh, smell that will lure this insect to the, this uh, stingless bee to the hive. The community who, who are looking forward for domesticating of these stingless bees is about the site of their apiary. There are factors that they should be present in that uh, apiary. One of the key factors is the nature of the diversity of the plant in the area. Remember these bees, they are getting their honey through foraging from different species of the plant. With the Eburu ecosystem and with this project, we had established pollinator gardens in four schools. One of them is Songoloi, Tangisita, Olesilwa and Olopolos. In these four schools, we had established an area of 50 by 100 size whereby we planted different species of plants that are pollinator related. That means they require pollinators and in this case bees for them to produce. So when hiving we brought our colonies at the site where these bees they can forage within the area. We are privileged to have uh, visitors who uh, visited our institution and we are able to establish through their assistance a pollinator garden whereby we can see it is an advantage to a school uh, since that now with the new curriculum the CBC it is aligning uh, itself very well because the CBC is a practical work whereby now the pupils are able to come and study about the pollination. Domestication of uh, stingless bees uh, for community is very important. One, because we will be rescuing these bees from uh, uh, declining as well as even losing the population in future, going by the traditional methods of people harvesting the entire colony and uh, exposing the rest to predators.